Hi, this is Nikki here from Kennelwood. I'm going to be showing you the heel with Maya and also the climb with her today. So in the lecture video that I sent to you, we are using marker words, good being our positive marker followed by a treat, and then no being our negative marker followed by a quick pop on the leash. So I'm gonna start with the heel. I'm gonna keep the leash nice and loose. Good. Now you can hold your leash in both hands or if you'd like, you can just hold it with your right hand and then have your left hand be there to give her uh, rewards. So, universe decided to walk a dog is on the left. Heel. Good. So, keeping that leash nice and loose. Good. I'm rewarding her directly down my left side. So what we don't want to do is reward with our right hand because then you see she's going to cross in front of us and she's going to trip us. Heel. Good. either with my right hand or you can hold it with both hands, like I said, and give a pop with our left hand. But leash stays nice and loose and relaxed. We don't want to hold on to her like she's a puppet on a string. We don't want to do the wrap around. So we want to keep it nice and loose and relaxed. Heel. Good. Lots of high value treats whenever, oop, did you drop your treat? Lots of high value treats whenever she is with you, walking next to you. I would highly recommend to take lots of treats on your walks, okay? Next up, I'm gonna show you the climb, which the climb is to get on an elevated pet bed and stay there until she's released. Climb. So I just walk her up to the platform, I tell her to climb. I'll mark the behavior when she's staying up there with the word good, followed by a treat. No, climb. Good. If she steps off, I just say no. I give a pop on the leash. And then once she gets back up there, I tell her good and follow it up with that treat. Now you'll notice here, I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit. You'll notice I'm making movement around her. No, no, climb. I'm making movement around her. I want her to understand that life goes on around her while she is staying in this command. So this is, essentially this is boundary training for her. You'll also notice I'm not telling her to stay. I do not teach the word stay in, tr in this training program. Um, I teach dogs that they just have to remain there until we release them with F-R-E-E. -E. So once again, there, the stay part is understood. So when she remains up there, good, followed by a treat. If she steps off, I just say no, followed by a pop, and then I'll bring her back to the climb. No, fun. You'll notice how I'm not raising my voice. Um, I'm not using body language to intimidate her. We're taking out all of the human emotion when it comes to training with our dogs. Now, as we go through this process um, with the climb command, you guys start doing this at home with her, and this will be for all of our commands, we'll start adding in other distractions. So, you know, other dogs, um, which we've started that here, but other dogs, food, good. Dropping the leash, moving around. No, 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 climb, no, no. No, climb. No, 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 climb. Good. No, climb. Good. But this is great for mental stimulation. Um, it's great for these busy brain puppies um, to really work their brains. 
And it's also giving them some structure in the home environment, giving them some boundaries. Girl. So free is our release word. Bye. And climb is the word to get up on the elevated pet bed. Now, do we sell these here? Of course we do. We have them in stock. Um, but you can also look on Chewy or Amazon if you'd like to look up a different little elevated pet bed. Um, that's perfectly fine. I would not use just a flat pillow bed or a blanket. It's really the elevation is key. It's making it very black and white. So we know when we need to correct the puppy. As soon as they step off, they get a correction. It also makes it more clear for them and clear for us. With a flat object like a blanket or a towel, they can tend to relax, lay down, and start to like stretch off. And then we're kind of in that middle gray picture. We're like, ah, should we correct? Should we not correct? Um, you know, they're on, but they're, they're off. So it's a very gray picture. This makes it very clear. You're on or you're off. Good. Now, you can give her um, a bone to chew on up there. You can give her toys up there. At this point, I would do maybe 15 to 20 minute sessions with her. Now, all of your sessions do not have to be that long. They can be short sessions. But I would recommend at least trying for some longer sessions this weekend. Um, not being out of sight just yet. We want to still be in the same room as her. We will get to out of sight climbs and also out of sight commands as we go through this process. But for right now, we're teaching her just, um, you know, I wouldn't recommend, you know, putting her in this climbing, you know, going out of the room, just moving a few feet away from her. So kind of like how I've been doing, you can sit down, you can stand up, good. Just adding in some other distractions, good. Good girl. Good. Now, last thing, because I know she's she's quite the jumper. Um, what we want to do? No. Good. So if she jumps, rather than pushing her off or sink down or um, get off, once again we're going to use the word no, and we're going to follow it up with a pop on the leash. Hi, pretty girl. Nope. Nope. Good. So see how my structure remains upright? Good. Hello. No. No. I'm not mad at her. I'm just applying that correction or that consequence. Hi, pretty girl. Oh my goodness. Nope. Nope. So this is how you can practice it. You can do this just with yourself and her. Hello. Good. No. So I go right there going from marking the good behavior of not jumping to all of a sudden she jumped. So I immediately went into the negative. No. With a pop. Good. Good. So really heavily rewarding when she is keeping all four paws on the floor and not um, not rewarding when she's jumping up on us. All right. Good one, sweetheart. Okay. So this has been what um, I've been focusing on over the last couple days. Oh, she's gonna do her close up. <laughs> um, feel free if you have any questions. Um, you can email me. You can text me. I know you've got that number too to the, my iPad. Um, but contact me with any questions. But for now, leaving the leash this blue leash, her just her little flat collar on, and working on heel, working on free, working on climb, and also using our marker words of no and good. All right, thank you guys.